Um, so this is our 3D robotics order. I don't know which country it came from, whatever, but probably came a little ways. Um, so let's open it up and see what's inside. I think we should have some goodies in here. Alright, there we have it. We have the Arju Pilot Mega, I think it is, right? Yes, Arju Pilot Mega. And it comes with little jumpers to set up settings and stuff. And 2.6. Yeah. It's the and new revision. Then we got the... I forgot the name of it. Uh, is that the... Uh, is that the telemetry or is no? It's this oh, the, that's the uh, that's this the, the uh, minimum OSD. We'll talk it. about that in more detail later. I'm glad you remembered that. I yeah. couldn't. I was ready to say it, but it was on the tip yeah. of my tongue. Um, this one is the telemetry transmitter. It's got heat shrink to go with it, and uh, the antennas will go there. We'll get to that in a little bit. And there's the receiver that plugs into the computer that goes with it. Also needs an antenna. USB. USB, yeah. And this is for the other part of the telemetry. It's the power module. It powers up the Arju pilot. And also it gives it information about the battery voltage. And So you can see that on your OSD. An extension USB cable. That's nice to go with the uh, receiver, I guess. GPS module and compass. It's got a compass too, yes. And that will plug onto the Arger pilot as we well. Need, we need direction. <laughs> and uh, another USB cable for the Arger pilot itself. You can never have too many USB <laughs> cables. Uh, the packing list, I'm not going to open that before I got private information. <laughs> One antenna. Two antenna for the telemetry, and they are what? What's the nine fifteen megahertz? That's the fricassee. <laughs> and I missed something though. There's a cable that goes with the, with the uh, with something actually. I don't know what. That might be the but minimum OSD, or could be the. I think it's the minimum OSD, but it doesn't fit the Arduino pilot, so I don't know what we use it for. Could be the telemetry module. And we'll other than out. a bag left over, that's about it. <laughs> What's that on your lap down there? Oh, that's just a piece of tape, piece of tape backing. Oh, okay. Where's that minimal OSD? Right here, buried. It's very minimal. <laughs> yeah. And that's because it's going to get all the telemetry from somewhere else, like the Arju Pilot Med. Yeah. Well, it's, all it does is put information on the screen. Take it out of the back so they can see it better. Hey, that's an idea. I could probably see it better too. Hey, look at that. Now that's small. That's almost like a teensy. Actually, it's smaller. I think smaller than a teensy. Doesn't have any. Uh, that's a know. itsy bitsy. Doesn't even have a <laughs> USB port. So I guess it's pretty small. <laughs> okay. So I guess next we'll just see if we can hook that minimum OSD yep. up to a camera and to a transmitter and see if we can get some OSD. It also has programming pins which I don't think we'll use unless we upgrade the firmware or something. Yeah. So here is the minimum OSD from 3D Robotics and I just wanted to document this how I'm testing it. Now on this end here this is where you hook up your uh, your transmitter it goes back to your ground station and also the camera and uh, if you look on the back at the top is the two ground pins and then next one down is the uh, plus five uh, excuse me 12 volts 12 volts DC and then you you basically have your video in and out right there so now what I'm gonna do is hook up the transmitter to 
the outer pins and the camera to the inner pins. Now on this end, this is where it would connect on to your telemetry port from your telemetry device. In my case I'm going to be using um, the Arju Pilot Mega 2.6 to provide the telemetry. Uh, so this is actually divided in two stages. There's the first stage, which is where the, uh, the camera and the transmitter hook up, and then there's the second stage, which is where the telemetry information comes in. And they're actually separated voltage-wise. The camera end, the transmitter end over here, runs on 12 volts, but the telemetry end over here runs on 5 volts. So to test this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this 5 volt, well actually it's a 6 volt, but I can get away with using it because the batteries are kind of low anyway, but I'm going to connect this onto this end over here to provide the 6 volts. I'm not going to have any telemetry data coming in, but that's okay. The board will still work. The minimal OSD will still display a message. Let's do that. Oh, I had to make up one cable here to go to my camera. And this is the cable. It's just a servo cable, servo wires that I connected to the proper connector for the camera, which I got from Hobby King. This little connector is used to connect onto a receiver to connect servos on, so it's a little servo cable. And it fits their receivers. It also fits this camera, the PZ0420. And as we discussed earlier, that came from Security Camera 2000. Now, what I'm going to do is plug this onto, onto these pins right here and plug this onto the other pins, which is my transmitter. We transmit back to my ground station from my aircraft. Okay, now over here I have the ground station set up with the patch antenna and the receiver right here and the video is going to my monitor over here which I will turn on in a minute. Okay, so let's hook up the wires. Okay, the camera goes on the inside pins and the transmitter on the outside pin. So I'm going to hook up the camera right here and the transmitter right there like that. So this is the transmitter this is the camera. Now I'm going to hook up the 5 volts like that and when I do that a little light lights up for the uh, for the second stage. Now let's power up the first stage that's right here. Now we got the first stage powered up. And that's this light over here. So both stages are going. And the transmitter is transmitting. Okay, so, so the transmitter is transmitting on channel 9. Now let's get the other one going. I'll go ahead and turn on the monitor. Monitor's on now. And I'm going to put the power to the receiver right here. There we go. And you can see the minimum OSD is now on the screen. And if I take the little cap off the camera here, set that up. Okay, I can see the picture and I can see the minimum OSD on the screen right here. So we know the minimum OSD is working. It's just asking for the Mavlink heartbeats because there's no data coming in from uh, the telemetry device. All the minimum OSD does is display information. It doesn't provide it. It doesn't even gather it. All it's doing is looking for a data stream from a device that provides telemetry. And for us, that's going to be the Arju Pilot Mega. Here's the Arju Pilot Mega, still in its bag. And this little cable here 
will eventually hook on where I've got this battery pack providing the 5 volts. The Arju Pilot Mega is going to provide the 5 volts and also the telemetry data. So we'll get to that later.